what's good guys welcome and welcome back to this channel my name is karen with a k and today we are having a chat with k so uh this is a new segment that i've introduced into this channel we'll be hosting um young people once or twice in a while and they'll be talking about life their life challenges their achievements just generally you know just to motivate and um, inspire each other and then yeah that is it so if you are new here you are most welcome if you're returning subscribe by yo you are the mvp so guys please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you're notified each and every time that i put up a new video so guys today we are hosting a beautiful young lady she is a beauty queen she's a model she is an entrepreneur she is a, a, a lawyer so guys help me welcome a leper pamela so pamela welcome to this channel um please tell the viewers who pamela is uh just a brief about yourself give us a brief profile hi viewers my name is pamela Aleper, the reigning miss africa golden 2020 mm -hmm. at the same time i'm a lawyer at the same time i am the ceo of pam bloom pageant house you guys i also wanted to be a lawyer <laughs> i don't know what happened we went into business but yeah so uh pamela i'm very excited to have you on this channel and i hope um we can i can have you another time probably for our game or it's something else i to go for the uh, Miss Africa Golden to me was like a big platform for me mm -hmm. and um, I want to say it gave me that kind of platform to do to uh, do certain things like projects and then um, empower the girl child basically and through Miss Africa Golden I was able to come up with Palm Bloom Pageant House you know and it's empowering the young girls the girl child out there so to me it was like something big so um, what does Pam Bloom Pageant House do? Uh, it basically offers mentorship to the young girls in uh, pageantry and uh, it trains them skills, mentorship, etiquette, catwalk, modeling basically and then building confidence in them. So guys, please come and train with Pam Bloom Pageant House. Um, I'm going to put the social media uh, handles in the description below and also in the video of course so guys if you have kids who want to model kids who want to be in the pageant um world in the fashion world please bring them to palm bloom pageant house and yeah i think i should not say enroll <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> i'm going to enroll so let's meet at palm bloom so um what has been your greatest achievement since uh, you went for that pageant Mm, my greatest achievement since I went for Miss Africa Golden 2020, I would say I have run uh, certain projects. Mm -hmm. I, you know, at first, when I did Miss Tourism, I've never done a project. I was like a kind of dormant queen. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, whatever flows should flow. Yeah. But then when I came to Miss Africa Golden, I was able to think and come up with certain projects that I can run. So through that, I was able to come up with a project where we reached out to the mothers and the babies in Moranto Regional Referral Hospital and also Matan Hospital. At the same time, I am working on a project of child trafficking, but this time I will not be doing it alone because it's something huge. So we have partners that are coming on board. It's until we get all the full partners that we can work with is when we shall kickstart with it. Mm. So I have had a little bit of Miss Tourism. So when was this? When did you go for Miss Tourism? Um, Miss was it Tourism. before? Was it before Miss Africa Golden or after? Miss Tourism was in 2016. Yeah. <laughs> this was before Miss Africa Golden. So mm -hmm. I started with Miss Tourism Karamoja 2016, and then I went for Miss Tourism Uganda still the same year 2016, and yeah. then I also went for Miss Tourism Metropolitan International in the same year 2016. Wow. What a wow. <laughs> <laughs> so um when you went for Miss Africa Golden, I understand you were the only Ugandan there. How did that make you feel? Did you kind of feel out of place? And what mentality did you use to make sure you win the crown and bring it to this nation? 
uh, being the only Ugandan in Miss Africa Golden, first of all, was amazing. Why? Because I was carrying the whole country on my back, yes, and everyone was looking up to me. Is she really going to bring up something back for her country? So it was amazing. At the same time, it was intense and scary. But then, what the kind of attitude I carried was a very positive attitude. I, you know, when you're positive in certain things, trust me, there's always a way out. You always lead or a star somewhere. So I carried a very positive attitude, and I'm like, whatever that will come out, I will receive it positively. So when I won, yes, it was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> And yes, yeah. that, that's the, that's actually the, the tactic I use, positivity. Nothing. Else. So you guys, that is what I keep preaching. <laughs> Be positive in every situation. Um. So how how was it coming out uh, of the pageant? You you won. Uh, how are, did you get some fans? How are people receiving you in the streets of Kampala, Uganda, <laughs> at like the, the village? Of course, everyone is excited. Our girl has brought the crown home. So how was that kind of feeling? Mm, the feeling was nice. I would say, let me use nice. Yeah. <laughs> the feeling was nice. It was, it was something beautiful. It was amazing coming back in the country with a crown. And uh, the way I was received, of course, and then the way my family received me. And then I think I also had some fans. <laughs> Definitely, I'm a, you guys are my fan, a big fan. So meeting Pamela is really one of oh, 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 my 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 greatest moments. <laughs> so, but uh, this is a disclaimer, guys. This is not too um, can I call it professional? What mm. it's it's kind of us. It's, we are just chilling, you know. So don't expect me to stop laughing and be too serious. It's not a sad story. So guys, yeah, uh, please like, comment, leave a comment. And then, um, how have you been able to juggle school? Because I know you're a student, you're, you're studying, you're doing business, and you like you're into everything. You're in social life. So how have you been able to handle all this together? Uh, first of all, let me start by advising the young girls. Hmm? When you want to do something, you always have to have a balance in each and everything that you want to do. Yeah. So I have a balance in how I balance my studies, how I balance my uh, social life, how I balance my, my activities that I do as a pageant queen. So um, let me start by saying before I went for Miss Africa Bolden, I was just in my last semester of law that wow. is the fourth year mm -hmm. and at the same time we're doing dissertations but what i did because i wanted my degree at the same time i wanted this side so i had to balance and i went as far as you know young girls you have to go as far as you have to put in certain steps in each and everything that you want to do yeah. i went as far as carrying my laptop to nigeria wow. at the same time i was doing my dissertation whenever i was free and then when we had time for training, I was in for training. When it's time for sleeping, as people are sleeping, I am doing my dissertation. So I had that kind of balance in me. I had to balance my studies. I had to balance uh, Miss Africa Golden at the same time the activities that I was doing. It's more of a balance. You have no, that's, to that's like organize your time. You have to be so committed and yeah. focused and everything. Yes. Um, <laughs> there's this. Uh, there's this saying that uh, pageants are not good for young girls what would you advise parents who don't um, who don't like, like who listen to this kind of um, um, idea and, and talks around you know okay that kind of idea I would say it's a bit archaic you know and you know in these modern times probably we have some of our parents not supporting pageants others saying pageantry it's all about being naked mm -hmm. but you see that is the kind of mentality people had way back yeah. those days but then in the modern times that we are in in this 21st century uh, pageants basically equip young girls they give us the platform 
to fight certain things in society you know we are um, citizens in this society let me say and a pageant is giving a platform where a young girl is going to come up you're the pageant queen and then at the same time after you've been given the crown what are you going to do i'm going to go out there and then spearhead maybe stand for the girl child stand for a little african child in society for example i'm doing the the, the child trafficking uh, project it's not all about nakedness so my advice to the parents is that pageantry is a very big platform yeah. it gives you that kind of confidence for our girls in society that's very true uh so growing up at karimojong um you know for us we are too cultural did the like did people support you did your parents support you um was did they welcome that um miss africa golden or miss tourism thing in you okay i will start by saying my most 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 supportive people were my parents my family my family has always supported me from day one mm. because they want to see their daughter so and so are higher mm. so they have always supported me i would say also the society came up but you know in society there are people who support and those that will not support you don't expect because i'm a karimojong all the karimojongs will come and support me no there are some that will refuse or uh, maybe having their own personal issues or not being interested which is fine because the society is like that yeah. so i had people that came up to support me but my main main support was my family and family is important guys learn to support your family learn to support your people because I mean, if you do not, how will the rest of the of the people get to support your person or your family member? So the first, the most important is family. So one last word to the youth, of course, to myself as well and to the viewers. Okay, my last word to the youth is um, be positive in each and everything that you do. You know, uh, let's say, let's learn to take the risky steps. You know when you take the first step and you fail you can still take another step like that do not give up you know and then in that same time of course you have to move with god how do you just move like wind <laughs> so god should be your first <laughs> when you have god so you will so and so are higher so be positive learn how to balance uh whatever that you want to do in society Oh, thank you so much, Pamela. So, guys, if you came this far, please leave a comment in in the comment section below. Let us know if you liked the video, what things we should talk about in our next chat. Uh, yeah, don't like forget to follow Pamela at at Pamela Alepe on Instagram, at Pamela Alepe on Facebook, and then at Alepe Pamela on Twitter. <laughs> Just like me, Karen Yangan, everywhere at Karen Yangan, Facebook, Karen Yangan, Instagram, Karen Yangan, Twitter, and uh, some of us are dominant on TikTok and whatever, but it's Karen Yangan everywhere that you go, YouTube, and yeah. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Is it called tuning in? But we are whatever. <laughs> thank you for being here, and thank you, Pamela, and see you next time. I remain Karen with a K. <laughs>